Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Isabella DeMarco and today I'm going to be trying out these two nail polishes and testing do they work. Can you believe these were only 80p from Primark? These were from the Primark makeup range which is called like PS. I uh, don't know what it stands for but maybe it's like ps I don't know. I have Jamboree, or oh, I don't really know, that sounds quite French, and I have Marshmallow. I actually already have Marshmallow on my nails. It's been on my nails for about just over a week, maybe a week and a half, and as you can see, it's holding up pretty well. There are some chips, but what I have noticed is there's been some cracking, which I notice with pretty much all nail polishes, to be honest. My nails are in pretty good shape in the first place, so nail polish does tend to wear better on my nails just because they're not peeling, they're not chipping or anything like that. But I do find that around the sides, they have started chipping. I've actually taken the nail polish off these two nails, just ignore them, they were broken so I had to fix them. But today I wanted to try out this one which I just bought. It looks like a really pretty hot neon pink and I wanted to see what it was like. Because I was quite impressed with this one but I find that sometimes the formulas on different colours can be slightly different. I'm gonna just remove my nail polish. There's not really much problem removing it, it's not one of those really difficult nail polishes to remove. Also I think I forgot to mention I've got two coats on. Okay, so I've now removed all the nail polish and before anyone mentions it, I do know that my nails are very yellow. I know that not everybody likes them at this length, but this is how I wear them, this is how I like them. The reason they're yellow, by the way, is by staining. So now I'm going to be trying out this Jambore or Jamboree. It's looking pretty transparent actually, which is not what I was hoping. I was hoping it would be nice and opaque but it does look quite transparent, whereas the marshmallow, oh by the way, the tops come off like this and then you have this little twisty thing. The marshmallow is a lot more opaque, as you can see, and which is why like, I felt like it gave a lot more of a richer colour. I'm doing this with my less dominant hand, by the way, so, you know, okay. Well, it's a nice formula, it's not too gloopy, it's not too thin, and also the brush is nice and thick, so it pretty much gets a good coat of your nail with just like two or three swipes. Pretty transparent, which is not what I was hoping. I was hoping it would be really nice, thick neon, you know, color. We'll see what it looks like with a second coat. My nail polish is actually dried within probably about a minute. So, well, it's not completely dry, but it's dry to the touch. So drying time for the first coat is pretty impressive. Let's give it another coat and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the nail polish with a second coat. As you can see, it applied really nicely, really smoothly. Didn't have to go over it many times, but it is still quite transparent. You can see where my nail leaves the nail bed, if you know what I mean, and I prefer when you can't see that. You know, you can see like the smile line. Not a fan of this one, maybe three coats would be good, but I don't really like doing any more than two coats. I am gonna try it over the baby pink because I feel like it'll be more opaque that way. That is one coat of marshmallow and it is pretty opaque as you can see. So after about two or three minutes, this one is now pretty much dry to the touch. Not fully, but I don't have a lot of time today. Ooh. Okay, it looks a lot more, a lot more vibrant. Whoa. Okay, this is so much more what I was expecting. Look at that. Can you see how much more vibrant this one looks and you can't really see through it? It just looks a lot more neon, more vibrant and more bold than this one. So I'd say with this one, definitely put a white coat underneath or just a baby pink. It definitely goes better over the top of a lighter nail polish. And what did I do? I just smudged it. Oh my God, why do I do this? Oh my God, okay, I'm probably gonna have to do it all over again. So I'm gonna paint the rest of my nails just like I did with this one. Oh my oh. God, I've smudged my nail again, again, oh. Okay, so this is what my nails now look like with one coat of marshmallow and one coat of the neon pink. Obviously, because I'm rushing, I've like smudged my nail. I'm just gonna say, guys, it's been about half an hour and it's dry to the touch, but if you like, 
knock it, it's gonna leave a dent. Do you know what I mean? So I've been, you know, quite busy this morning getting stuff ready for my next video and like I have knocked, I'm gonna show you. I mean, it should have really dried by now, but as you can see, I've knocked it there. I've knocked it there, I've knocked it here. This nail, which had just the neon, has dried perfectly. Like, I probably couldn't dent that. But where I've done a coat of the baby pink and then a coat of the neon pink, it's taking ages to dry. So that's the one downside to putting two different colors on. So I'll be back in a week and you can see what they're looking like. Okay, so I'm back. It has been a week and one day and this is what they look like. Pretty minimal wear and tear. The only two nails where there was a lot of chipping was on these two nails which were actually damaged in the first place. Here I've got a huge crack in my nail so it, it kind of looks like it's going to break off soon but as you can see it's chipped around there. It's also chipped around here where I have damaged my nail but everywhere else it pretty much stayed pretty well which I think is, is pretty good. As you can see there is like the usual normal sort of chipping just quite minimal wear just on the tips of my nails which is completely normal for a week of wearing the same nail polish the edges do like tend to sort of wear away a little bit as you can see as you remember this is the nail that I just did two coats of this pink there is quite a lot of difference you can still see the others still look a lot more vibrant I feel like they're not as opaque as they were when I first painted them I don't know they just look a little bit more duller Duller or duller, duller, but I think that's yeah again completely normal for one week of wearing nail polish. There is some very slight cracking, but you can't really see it. You have to like look really close to see the cracking. So my verdict on these nail polishes for the price, ATP, you cannot get much better really. Another thing I want to say is the quantity is very, very good for the price. Usually for a cheap nail polish, you'll maybe get a tiny little bottle, but you do get quite a lot in here. You get 24 mils, 0.8p per milliliter according to this sticker here that is my review my does it work review on the primark nail polishes totally worth it if you're a student or if you're a teenager or if you just don't have a lot of money if you're on a budget so so good atp like you can't even get cheaper than that in the pound shop let me know if you'd like me to try out the matte nail polishes i did see some i almost bought one but i thought no i'll just try out this one first thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you again in my next video bye mm -hmm.